Hi there! In this video, we are going to learn how to create a simple poster in InDesign, so let's get started. Let's first change the units to inches. We are using a letter-sized document for this illustration. Let's also uncheck facing pages, although it doesn't even matter as we'll be using just one page anyway. Let's reduce the margins to 0.25 inch. And I think the bleed is already set to 3 millimeters, but let's just enter it anyway. And then hit create. Let's grab a rectangle frame tool and make a large frame covering the entire artboard. Now let's go to file and then place and locate the image on the computer and hit open. Let's right click the image and go to fitting and select fit content to frame option and the image will adjust itself. It's time to drop a guide from the ruler above and place it at the center of the image. Similarly, drag another guide from the ruler on the left and drop it at the center of the image. Next, let's drag the ruler from the corner and drop it at the guide in the center. Now focus on the ruler on the left and drop a guide at 1.75 inches from the center guide. Let's now go to window and select layers to show the layers panel. The shortcut to show it is F7. Double click the layer and rename it background. And then lock this layer. Now click the small plus button at the bottom of the layers panel to create a new layer and then double click it and rename it shapes. Grab the pen tool and click once at the intersection of the image and the upper guide and then click at the bottom left corner of the artboard creating a diagonal line and then move on to click the bottom right corner of the artboard and finally click the starting point to complete this triangle. Holding shift while clicking will ensure that your lines are straight. Now select the eyedropper tool and pick a color from the image. So I'm going to pick this bluish color that will complement well with the image. Let's hit W for a preview. This looks neat. So let's grab the pen tool once again. And this time click the intersection of the image and the lower guide on the left and then go diagonal and click the bottom right of the artboard and then the bottom left corner of the artboard and finally close the triangle. Then pick the eyedropper tool once again and pick another color. So I'm going to pick the yellow color which looks more like a reflection of the sunlight. Now I want the blue triangle to be on top of the yellow one here. So let's select it and then right click and go to arrange and select bring to front. Let's grab the rectangle tool now and make a narrow vertical rectangle as illustrated. Let's fill it with black. Now bring it to the center of the artboard and then take your cursor to the top right corner of the rectangle and when you see the bi-directional arrow, click and drag to the left to match the angle of this rectangle to the angle of the yellow triangle on the left. Make necessary adjustments so that it is neither too far from the yellow triangle nor too close. Once you've fixed its position, select it and then hit command and left bracket on a Mac or control and left bracket on a PC to send it back a layer. I think I'd rather change the color of the rectangle to white, so let's do that now. And with the rectangle still selected, change its opacity to 70%. Now hit W for a preview. I think it looks decent enough. Let's lock the shapes layer and click the small plus button at the bottom of the layers panel to add another layer and then double click and rename it text. Now grab the type tool and make a text box on the pasteboard so that we could borrow text from it and then right click and fill it with placeholder text. Let's grab the type tool once again and make a large text box in the center of the image and type in corporate and change the font to bungee for now. We might change it later if we don't like it. Now increase the font size to 50 points and then fill it with white. Actually, let's change the font to Poppins Black and update the font size to 72 points. And let's also center align it. With the text still selected, right click 
and go to Effects, and then drop Shadow. In the pop-up menu, check the Preview box, and update the spread to 15%, and hit OK. Now grab the Type tool and make a text box on the left of the artboard, and type in Commitment is our priority. Let's select the text and change the font to Poppins Medium. Select the font and using the eyedropper tool, steal the yellow color from the yellow triangle on the left. Update the font size to 18 points. Now grab the rectangle tool and make a rectangle around this text and fill it with black. The opacity is already set to 70% and that's what we wanted anyway, so let it stay 70%. But hit command and left bracket on a Mac or control and left bracket on a PC to send it back a layer. And now the text should be clearly visible. Now grab the type tool and make a text box covering the rest of the rectangle, leaving some padding all around of course. And before releasing the mouse, hit the right arrow once to split the text box into two. Now double click the text box and then right click and fill it with placeholder text. Select the text and change the font color to white and font to Times New Roman bold. Actually, let's stick to regular font style. Let's now do some paragraphing with the text so that it looks presentable. Let's hit W for a preview. I think so far we are in the right direction, except one thing. Let's hold shift and click the text boxes, the heading and the rectangle and hit command G on a Mac or control G on a PC to group this entire piece and push it above. So as to clear this white slanted rectangle we made earlier. Grab the type tool once again and make a text box on the right. And before releasing the mouse, hit the right arrow once to split the text box into two. Now fill it with some placeholder text and then change the font color to white. Also change the font to Times New Roman regular. Let's do some paragraphing here as well. And then add another text box on top for heading. And let's type in our work. Steal the color from the yellow triangle using the eyedropper tool and then update the font size to 24 points. Now right align it. Let's check the preview now. I think we need to push this text down so let's select the text boxes along with the heading and drag it down. Let's check the preview once again. Yeah, now it's fine. Finally, let's add one last text box on the left and type in site address. Add any imaginary address, or let's steal some text from the text box we pasted on the pasteboard. Let's just add a city name to the junk characters. I'm also going to add an imaginary contact number here. Let's change the font to Times New Roman Regular. Let's select just the heading and increase the font size to 12 points, and font style to bold. I think we should increase the font size of the rest of the text as well as it's too small for a poster. So let's change it to 12 points. Let's check the preview now. Let's just add the website address at the bottom. So pick the type tool and make a text box and type in www.corporate.com. Select the text and using the eyedropper tool, steal the yellow color from the triangle here. Let's change the font to Times New Roman Bold and then center align it to the artboard. Let's check the preview now. I think there are two issues that we need to fix. Let's grab the rectangle tool and make a rectangle from the text on the left to the edge of the page and fill it with black. Now place this rectangle on the right edge of the page and you could see that we need to push the text to the left a tiny bit to have the same space on both sides. Now it's fine. So let's delete the rectangle. Let's push all of the text up just a tiny bit. 
Let's also increase the font style of the heading here to 700 to make it bold. Now insert a guide between the two text boxes and then center align the heading to the text below. Check the final preview of the poster. Congratulations guys, you've just learned how to create a simple poster in InDesign. Alright guys, that concludes our session today. I hope you've enjoyed it and have learned something new from it. So do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again, goodbye and thanks for watching.